everyone is poor on gold in Hearthstone, unless you spent money on this game, and in that case, you're poor in real life. So if you want to be the most not poor you can, then you should open Hearthstone packs as efficiently as you can. This video will tell you exactly what packs to buy if you're a new Hearthstone player trying to get into Wild or any other scenario you might find yourself in while playing Hearthstone. Starting with the general best strategy in opening packs, this strategy is best used if you've been playing the game for one expansion or since the start of the game's release. What you're going to want to do is just open the newest pack that was released. I know it's anticlimactic, but there are two big reasons on why you should generally want to do this. First, the newest cards are most likely going to be the strongest due to power creep. Take a look at Puddle Stomper and Lush Water Mercenary. Why would you ever play Puddle Stomper, a card which released before Lush Water Mercenary, when Lush Water Mercenary is just a better card? Is the Puddle Stomper holding you hostage? Play twice if you need help! Most of the time, cards that are released later are just stronger. Now you might want to open packs for specific past legendaries, and I'll talk about how to open packs for specific cards later in the video. And trust me, you'll waste a lot of gold if you get that wrong. The second reason on why you should generally open the latest packs is because the cards released in the latest expansions will be played in standard for longer compared to other packs. The Voyage to the Sunken City cards will be playable in standard for one year longer compared to the Fractured and Alteric Valley cards. So you get more value on the newest cards compared to the slightly older cards. Note that this only applies when the year switches. So the Murder at Castle Nathria cards will be playable in standard for two years at the time of this recording because it was released in the year of the Hydra, while the United and Stormwind cards will only be playable in standard for one more year because that expansion was released in the year of the Griffin. Both expansions were released in different Hearthstone years, so they will remain in standard for a different amount of time. But this is just a general strategy. Now I'm going to go through a bunch of specific situations that you'll find yourself in where you can use your gold more efficiently in pack opening. The first and easiest situation is when there is a mini set releasing soon. Should you save 2000 gold for a mini set or buy pack? Buy the mini sets, dummy. In a mini set, you get four legendary cards and 31 cards which are probably better than the legendaries in the mini set. Since on average a pack will give you 103 dust, spending 2000 gold on 20 packs will only give you about 2000 dust. So spending gold on the mini set not only gives you specific cards that you can see, but you just get more dust value in general. When a mini set is releasing, it is always better to just save up and buy it. But what if there is no mini set coming up or you already have it? If you've been playing in an expansion for a while, there is a good chance that you'll get to the point where the only cards you don't have are the epic and legendary cards. If this is you, then how you buy your packs will depend on these factors. If the mini set has already released and you're a free to play player, you should consider saving up for the next expansion. You already have a lot of cards, so why not wait a few weeks for a whole new set of cards? You're going to get an epic card every 5 packs ish, and a legendary card every 20 packs ish. So why would you spend the gold on the off chance that you get one random epic or legendary card that you can't even control for? Cause I have a gambling addiction. Huh, fair point. The when and how you are going to save for the next expansion is up to you. Personally, if there was over a month until the next expansion, I'd probably wouldn't bother saving any gold for packs, but around two weeks until the new expansion release is when I would start consciously saving my gold. If the mini set hasn't released yet, then save up for it. I just talked about how good the mini set is for card to gold value, and I mean it. There's going to be a mini set released around the middle of each expansion, and if you're low on gold, you have all the rares and commons, and you're just trying to get one-off epics and legendaries, then save up for the mini set. Just practice some self-control. The mini set cards are new, so instead of spending gold on packs and getting duplicates of cards you already have, you can buy the mini set and get 35 new cards that you don't already have. You know, you can also play some arena and heroic duels to get some gold. I know everyone forgot those existed, but you can still do it. But this assumes that you have cards in the first place. What if you just started playing Hearthstone or you're just getting back into Hearthstone and you barely have any cards at all? Again, the same idea of opening the most recent pack applies in this scenario as well. Open the most recently released pack because those are the packs that are going to be playable the longest. You're most likely not going to be able to come close to getting all of the commons and rares in the most recent expansion if you're just starting Hearthstone and you come in the middle of the expansion. Expansion. But if you somehow do, I'll give you two options to choose from. My favorite option would be to save up for the mini set or next expansions, for reasons I just explained earlier. I'm frugal, okay? What you could also do is buy packs from previous expansions, which were released in your current Hearthstone year. For example, this year is the year of the Hydra, so the only packs I would buy are from the year of the Hydra. Cards that were released from expansions in the year of the Griffin will be rotated out of standard a year earlier than the cards in the year of the Hydra. Hence why I wouldn't buy packs from the year 
of the Griffin. These pack opening strategies were mainly focused on the standard game mode of Hearthstone. So now let's get into what you should do if you're trying to get into the wild game mode of Hearthstone. First, what Hearthstone packs should you buy if you started playing Hearthstone maybe a year ago and you are trying to get into wild? Maybe you have some wild cards because the old cards you had rotated out, but nothing substantial enough to make a deck out of. In this scenario, the best thing to do is actually not buy any packs at all, or at least any wild packs. I'm assuming you want to still play standard, but you also saw some Mark Mix video and you want to try out some wild decks. Here's the mindset I want you to have in this scenario. Every time a new expansion is released, those cards will be added into the wild game mode, and they can be used in the standard game mode as well. But if you buy a wild pack, then you can only use those cards for a wild. You don't want to become someone who only plays wild. I've seen what that does. It hurts people. It ruins their lives. I have to hit you with the real world here. Getting into wild as a new Hearthstone player is hard. There's a lot of cards you don't know exist and you don't know how to play against them. And once you get into wild, you'll lose on turn 4 and no one's having a good time. So don't expect getting into wild to be easy or fun at first. If you just started playing Hearthstone about a year ago, then I believe it's better to play standard and slowly shift in some wild decks, rather than just opening wild packs and going for wild straight away. Of course, if you want to disenchant all your cards and craft some wild cards, you are more than welcome to, but I'm not recommending it. It's stupid. If you just want some old Hearthstone cards because, uh... I can't think of a reason why you would just want some old Hearthstone cards, but if you just want some old Hearthstone cards for whatever reason, there are a few things you can do to get them. First, I should say if you want a specific card like Queen of Pain for a reasons, you are always better off crafting that card compared to opening a pack for it. If you can somehow open Queen of Pain specifically out of the 100 or 20 so cards from that expansion, then you've earned to do whatever you want with that card. But for us mere mortals, we don't have that sort of luck, so it's better to just craft it. This especially goes for epics and legendaries. You are not going to open a specific legendary card from packs. The chances are just too rare. If you're going to be opening wild packs, the cards you do get from those packs are only useful in the wild game mode, along with duels, but that's kind of irrelevant. It's just too hard to open specific cards from wild packs, so I would opt to craft them instead. The only way I could justify buying old packs is if you just wanted random cards to fill your collection and you don't want specific wild cards. But there is a way to get a bunch of random old packs and value for your gold through solo adventures. For the gold you spend on any solo adventure from the Dalaran Heist and above on the menu, you will get your money back in packs plus the solo adventure experience. So if you enjoy looking at the little Hearthstone lore there is and you want some old Hearthstone cards, then buy some solo adventures. Now let's get into some general pack opening tips that you should keep in mind when buying packs. In every pack in Hearthstone, the first 10 packs you open will have a guaranteed legendary in it. That means in any expansions, whether that's in the future or in the past, opening 10 packs will give you a guaranteed legendary card that you can disenchant for dust or show off to your mom. You should know that there isn't any way to determine if you've already gotten your 10 pack guaranteed legendary or not. You can go into the collection and sort by legendary in your specific expansions and maybe that will help. If you're near the release of a new expansion, you might want to consider saving your standard packs you get from Tavern Brawl until the next expansion is released. If you already have all the rare and common cards in standard, what's the point of opening the standard pack to probably just get more rare and common cards. Wait until the new expansion releases more cards in the standard and then you can open your standard pack to get more cards. If you find yourself in a good situation for gold, you should consider investing in getting good at arena or duels. I know it's hard to get good at arena or duels, but if you get really good at those game modes, you can infinitely farm gold and dust along with playing another game mode of Hearthstone. But if that's too much work for you, that is okay. There's actually a way to get gold and dust in Hearthstone without having to do anything. With a little bit of patience, you can get some consistent packs, and I go over how to do that in this video right here. Subscribe for more Hearthstone, thanks for stopping by, I'll see you around.